first of all, sorry for coming for coming late. Uh, I was um, engaged also with uh, some of the colleagues also uh, about the good thing that is coming about Coach Peter. So please forgive me for coming late, but here I am. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait for it. I won't say anything. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen of the media, welcome to the. Okay, gentlemen of the media, welcome to the Orlando Paris versus um, Bulgogna City post match press conference. We are joined by the our, uh, coach, Coach Lufano de Siena. Welcome. Uh, we've got a roving mic as per norm. If you have any question, please identify yourself as well as the media company you represent. You were making an announcement, Coach. The floor is yours. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> You're still my boss, eh? So when you say boot, I've been boot. Thank you. About what? Okay, we played well. I think we get. Um, no, 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 no. I can't talk about that one. It's not our yours, guys. You guys. I was apologizing. Why I'm late? I have to explain. I can't just say sorry and not tell you sorry for what. Thank you. Thank you, Galebo. Yeah, I think we we, we, we we came to Orlando knowing exactly that we'll be under pressure from minute one up until the last minute and we had to be structured and we remained structured and we kept shape and we knew that we will get our breaks but the, the million dollar question was are we going to use the chances that we got and I think the goalkeeper made the first big save uh, for Orlando Pirates. It shows that they have quality in every player that they have, they have signed. And uh, from there, we knew that if we, do, we can't score them, they'll keep on coming. And they, that is exactly what happened. But we never panicked. We said as long as it remains 0-0, zero, zero, the longer the game goes, we know that we'll get our chances up to us when we'll use it. Yep, they considered along the way. And you could see every attack of them it was a threat. But what we were happy with is that they couldn't penetrate from the middle. Now they were coming from the side. You could see Hoto that side and Lodge, they started overloading on the on our right hand side. And um, normal that is our side that is a bit stronger. However, we, we, we considered a goal. We kept our cool. We kept on working hard and still keeping shape so that we don't consider another goal. And we were just happy that we went to a break with 1-0 and then we could uh, still continue to tell them that nothing is broken. Yes, we have considered, but we need to uh, stay structured and we mustn't go and try and say, no, we are looking for the goal and then to go pound to pound. That was going to be suicidal for us. And I think the guys, when we work with the guys that are coachable and they are willing to work hard, these are the kind of results that we will get. And we are very happy with the points that uh, we have got today. It's not easy. I don't think there's a lot of teams that will come here and get even a point. Thank you. We're now open for questions from the floor. By show of hands, you guys still waiting for the announcement. <coughs> sure. Uh, Coach, Sia from, from Kickoff, like you said, it's always difficult to, to contain Orlando Fire, particularly here at Orlando Stadium. What would you say was, was the game plan or the strategy behind that? <coughs> To make sure that, like I've said, there was structure, our game plan was to make sure that we try and um, uh, come up with answers with whatever that they will throw at us. If you can check, they'll always overload on the sides and they'll come there with their midfielders and their wingbacks, they'll come and sometimes you think the, the wingback will overlap, it will underlap and it's becoming a problem. When you try and close on the sides, they come in the middle and they overload in the middle and we have to now try to make sure that you minimize the spaces in between the uh, the defense so that they don't penetrate and your midfielders must be close so that the gaps are not uh, big. We managed to do that. Yeah, they can come behind also. They play behind. They've got pacey players and yeah, Mahopa is giving them another dimension that is, yeah, he can hold. He's good with the one two. He doesn't help hold too much on the ball and um, I think we dealt with 
uh, with whatever they throwed, as much as it looked dangerous, every attack that they had looked like we could concede, but we knew that as long as we remain structured, we stand a good chance of not conceding because we knew exactly we worked on them. And when you practice, uh, the games will show what you have practiced and uh, the practice will show what you have done on your own. So yeah, we are happy with how we came out today. Coach, uh, congratulations on getting a point um, here. Um, you, you, you say uh, you were not really concerned when you, you went a goal behind. What gave you hope um, against them? Um, and, uh, and, and I'm asking this because maybe in terms of your approach, there were areas that you, you would have felt this is where you can, you can catch them. What gave you hope? What is it that you have spotted about them? them that you still thought you could still capitalize on? We, 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 we remain compact, our structure, and uh, it's one team that it was going to be a mistake for us. Once they go one goal up and then we try to chase another goal, we're we going to get five or even seven. But what gave us hope is that after defending, we still got the breaks that we are looking for, that we spoke for about, that we'll get. So we said we remain like this. One of it will come. Definitely, it's up to us whether we'll use it. So, and we knew that it's going to be difficult. We'll be under pressure from the minute one. And as long as they don't score one, two, three, we we we, we remained hopeful that we will come. And we had chances that we could have. To say, hey, it was a half chance that we could have snatched, but hey, we are, are happy with the point. We are not complaining. Coach, um, I just want to find out what was the direct instruction to Lucky Baloy as you introduced him, because of, we found a bit of a structure, and uh, also the message that you gave to Maben, because of, it came back different from the first half. Look, experience that we have in the team, we have to try and manage it very well. And they are the ones that they have worked with us before and they know and they grab the instructions quicker. There's nothing with Baloi that we said that was different to what we said to Kambala. But Kambala hasn't played for long, we could see. He was losing a lot of balls there and was, the legs started to tie up and we knew that Sheriff will come in and the usage of the ball was better and I think he contributed even into the goal. The calmness, like you said, the structure was now clearly uh, appearing on, on in the midfield and also now the coming out, you could see we had passes now that we could clearly uh, uh, get them. And Mabena, we came second half, we said we keep him as long as we can and we knew that when Chauke ran out of legs, we'll put Mabena there and having Mabena in the field of play is one guy that you can't leave him one-on-one -on -one and uh, he remains a threat and he doesn't run but he was holding the balls for us so that we can get and bring the Boa policy in and, uh, and the other guys that were coming the midfielders. And I must mention this one, I don't want to talk about individuals, but I'm so happy for giving Mashikinya. He has been working so hard since I've known him where I, we first met. This is the goal that he will forever cherish and I'm happy that his hard work today came through and uh, it was a beautiful goal that he scored today. Thank you, thank you for that, Coach. Um, extra info, we are approved. Coach, um, I'm looking at uh, the team, that I mean, the inaugural season in the league since the return. You guys have advanced in the cutting challenge. You guys have just beaten Super Sport 4. Um, and you come here, you take a point from Pirates. One could easily say the honeymoon season is still, um, you know, rolling in your, in your favor. Uh, if you can compare your form to that of uh, your fellow newbies, I mean, Cape Town Spurs, it's, it's a different story. How do you then get to keep these players grounded, knowing very well that the first round is probably going to be different, the same as going to be different from the first round, knowing very well that you, you, you've got experienced players. Just take us through that fusion that you have within this, the, the squad. You know, after every match, even now you can go to the dressing room, 
the first word when I get that they're going to say, we remain grounded. This is nothing. It's water under the bridge. They know that is difficult because they, there's no game that we have won and then we're dominating. We'll say, no, there was no mistake. They know that we still have a lot to learn. So and they are willing to learn. And we keep working hard. That's another point that I must say that this team will run up until the last minute. And um, it, it's one aspect that is giving us hope as technical team and the management that at least we have people that are willing to work hard and will continue, but will always try to keep their feet on the ground because there's still a long way to go and there's still a lot of uh, things to be fixed in the team that are not going well but they are learning and but it's good that when we are learning we're making baby steps but we are getting the results that the kind of results that we are getting final two questions coach well done on the point but you've been too modest here you could have sneaked it at the end there coach but um, we know that taking players always get their attention. But how good has your defense been? Um, the Logos, the Kankis, and the, and the Kanis. Um, I mean, in the last six games or so, you've only considered twice. Late goal also against Super Sport. I'm sure you're happy with the shift that these guys are putting in. I think we, 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 the, the first part of your question is helpful and uh, it's, it's not been fair. Uh, we play to score and win. and. Give credit to the goalkeeper of Orlando Pirates. He made good saves and we wanted to score. Coming to the team, I think we, we have one uh, department that we can say it, it works even harder each and every game because we are the team that I'm sure everybody was counting the points before uh, the season starts that will get them there. And by so saying, that means the defence will always be under siege. When we work, we work extra with them, we have to, because we know that it's not going to e be easy when in the match. And also mention the only the back four, but the goalkeeper also, the goalkeeping department, the goalkeeper coach is working very hard. Also, I must give credit to my fitness team. They, they are working very hard. You can see these guys are hard runners and we, we are traveling, we are traveling and but they don't so they don't show any signs of uh, 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 fatigue and which is good we are trying to manage them very well but hey yeah, the defense has been good for us and it's the whole team that is working hard but i'm happy that they got rewarded uh, by some clean sheet that we got along the way but yeah one goal i think it has tended what they were trying to achieve coach you've just been promoted from the first team one day, one game at a time. We are still new in this league. We are learning each and everything. It's the first time we played Orlando after a long time. So it's one game at a time. The vision come at the end of the season. Let's see how far we are. Then we can have that vision that we are talking about. But at the moment, one game at a time. We are not looking very far. We don't have the the the, the, the long eyesight. We are very short sighted. Thank you.